What's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna to show you my brand new custom made to my style of training, home gym. All right, so here is the inside of the shred shed made by Beaverfit, and uh, it comes loaded with two brand new barbells. As you can see, I have four, but I already had these ones here, this uh, multi-grip bar, and my old barbell here that's been left out in the rain for like two years. But now I have a weatherproof case that allows me to have brand new barbells and keep them nice and out of the rain and out of the Florida elements as, as much as possible, so. Uh, it's really nice to have this case. Um, it also comes with uh, an adjustable bench for all the incline decline stuff. Uh, I have my Bowflex multi grit or multi weight interchangeable weight, whatever you want to call them, dumbbells in here. Uh, so those were mine. But everything else you pretty much see, except for this bench, this bench, the one covered in duct tape, that was my old bench too. But they hang up nicely on these like little shelves here. And uh, everything else though, from the looks of it, yeah, everything else was part of this shed. Like when it arrived, uh, it comes with stuff on the outside, which I'll show you, but it also comes with all this stuff on the inside. I don't know how it's too big of a number to count, but uh, definitely over my, my deadlift max worth of weight and uh, a couple of 20 pound and 16 pound medicine balls. We got some, I haven't filled them up with sand yet, but they those uh, athletic sandbags you can throw over your shoulder and do like a, a ruck run with. Then we got a couple of those landmine setups, which are the little things that a barbell goes into. <sighs> a huge set of kettlebells, uh, some recovery gear up here, and there's some elastic bands and a speed rope set in that box up there. And uh, a pair of gymnast rings, a battle rope, uh, and again, these barbells that are super nice, probably the nicest barbells I've ever touched. Um, Beautiful. They're made by all this gear is made by Gray Man gear and uh, it comes nicely packed away in here. So that's what's on the inside of this shed. Uh, it's super badass and you can just tuck it away. It all folds away nicely like this. And so whenever you're ready to use it, you bring all the gear out, put it on the outside. And then when you're done, just put it all the way in the shed. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show you the outside of the shed now. It's pretty freaking awesome. So the inside of the shed is pretty freaking awesome. I'm still putting the decals on, by the way, I have this, this one put up. Uh, I'm not a decal expert, but uh, prepare, train, execute. That's uh, one of their mottos. But the outside of the shed is insane because it's all extremely durable stuff. Weatherproof, powder coated, and uh, extremely heavy. So you can do a lot of tugging and pulling in different angles and, and it won't move, which is awesome. We have this multi-grip bar or you can do, uh, once you're chalked up on those cannonballs, they're really good for grip strength training. Uh, I really, really like the neutral pull-ups you can do on these, uh, these wide bars here, which is just a hammer grip. And then I got my pair of rock rings. I'm gonna be modifying this as much as possible. So got my pair of rock rings on there just to get a little bit of that grip strength training in there. We have two dip bars, so two hand welded i remember i posted this on instagram and the guy was like i welded those so hand welded dip bars um, that fit nicely and then they just remove off the side i only have one hand so it's difficult then you come over here on the back side and then there's this 12 foot rope climb it goes all the way up really freaking thick rope i think it's like a regulation crossfit rope but uh really nice it needs to be broken in i got splinters using it the other day but uh yeah, I want to a little bit of chocks in there. It should be good. Got a couple of J hooks for squat rack, shoulder press, whatever you want to do. Uh, another dip bar over here. And one of my other favorite things. So I got two, that's the landmine, by the way. You stick a barbell in there and then uh, you can do like lap pulls and rows. But on this side, we have the same 62 inch bars we have on that side. And then we have one of my favorite things. You've seen a lot of my videos is this wing bar here where you can do a pull up. You go launch from this side to this side. And uh, again, I'm recovering from an injury, so I'm, I'm working my way back up to that. But yeah, that is uh, the outside of the shred shed and it is legit freaking 
uh, it's gonna be here. It's gonna pass, it'll be around past, uh, let me say that again. It'll be, <laughs> oh my gosh, I said this. After I'm dead, this shred shed will still be here. That's all I'm trying to say. But uh, yeah, obviously the company Beaver Fit, uh, if you've never heard of them, go check them out. But uh, they are the ones that came here, installed this unit, and uh, we do have a keypad entry too. That's kind of cool too. And then I'm gonna show you, so this is a building in process. This is the last piece of the puzzle for me. And this is a very big piece of the puzzle, but I needed something in the meantime. If you see my older videos, I built some like wooden apparatus stuff and it was kind of rusty and, and shaky and whatnot. But this is my second shred shed. This is an assault runner, if you've never been on one of these before. It's a gravity runner that allows you to uh, sprint as fast as possible, and it, it's not like a set speed, so it runs as fast as you run. Then we have uh, my makeshift climbing hangboard here. I just converted my old pull-up bar, since I have a bunch of pull-up bars, into a new uh, hangboard setup, so we got like one inch, one and a half inch ledges, and I think that's a half inch ledge. And then I'm gonna put something else in the back of this. That'll be a surprise for the next YouTube video. And then in here, we got my, well, we got an assault bike. So when I wheel that out, I can use that for um, superset workouts. Out here we have a couple of parallette bars, uh, a sled push, and then my lap pull down machine or pulley machine. You just load it up with some plates and then that's a pulley comes up to here. It's really simple to use that, and it's crucial for supersetting. Uh, in here, this is my own thing that I built to weatherproof one, the assault fitness equipment so it could be outside. And, uh, but here we got some speed ropes and TRX and whatever else, climbing rope. Um, recovery area, which is the, I don't know, whatever that stuff is, just the vibrating ball and the hand grip strength and the sew right and some stretchy stuff and resistance bands. Uh, on this, got my bike helmet, there it is. I was looking for that. <laughs> uh, some blaze pods, I don't know if you know what these are, but those are like light pods that you can use to like run around and sprint. And I'll be doing some videos with those. Um, just a couple of tools. And then here we have my grip strength corner. I'm still, it's still being organized. That's the reason this is like all pushed to the side because this gym literally just got finished. And uh, let me turn this here. So yeah, this gym literally just got finished and uh, I'm working on figuring out how to organize everything and, and add more of these, uh, whatever you call it, these, the heck are these called? Hook boards or whatever. But yeah, this is my, my grip strength tools be using these uh, to to help you all improve grip strength and i'm i'm just going to be using this to its fullest potential to create awesome badass videos uh, but i wanted to show you all what i've been working on for the past like six months so i haven't just been sitting around um, but yeah that's pretty much it like here's the wing bar this is the i'll do one more walk around this is the setup here the rope climb on the back and i'll kind of like walk over here so you can see it from an angle so check that out here you go that is it that is my setup right here all the way around we do have the basketball hoop maybe we'll do some basketball challenges here i'm a shooter not a dribbler but uh yeah that's pretty much it um freaking amazing setup uh a lot to look forward to in training on this and uh, i just wanted to show you all where i was at so look forward to more videos and uh, let's, let's freaking do it. That's all I got to say. Peace.